obviously playing well, but you had a tough one over the weekend, and, and Must said you were a little banged up. Uh, just your thoughts, maybe both of you guys, on how you're able to just kind of respond and bounce back with a strong performance tonight. Um, I mean, it wasn't really hard. Um, the way we go, like we go hard and stuff, even at the games and stuff. So um, it was pretty normal. Um, guys are banged up, you know, but treatment resolves that, and um, we were ready to come out today and, and win. Yeah, like he said, um, guys gonna come in banged up after a hard, tough fought conference games, and so we just try to come in and fight through those injuries, you know. Um, like he said, treatment, um, rehab, and things like that is important, um, especially around this time, going into deep into conference. Then, Mikel, you flirted with a, a triple-double tonight. Just talk about your performance, maybe let us know why, why you have that jacket on, and then, Devo, if you could maybe touch on what you thought about Mikel today. Um, no, it just all led up in practice. Um, Coach emphasized like going vertical and stuff, and I put in me and my brother put in actually our own drills and stuff that could help us defensively in the game, and it showed tonight um, with the seven blocks and also rebounding as well. But um, you know, it just started in practice. Yeah. Um, oh, and then the jacket, yeah. just, uh, <laughs> glass cleaner, um, you know, for the seven blocks. You know, um, I was in there wiping the board and stuff. <laughs> Repeat your question one more time. Sorry. Just, just your thoughts on Mikel's impact tonight? Um, terrific. I ain't never, I ain't never played with somebody that block as many shots as I seen tonight. You know what I mean? Um, like last year we had Jalen Williams. He was took, taking charges like five, six, seven a game. He got, he getting blocked. So it's different for me. But um, I like it. You know what I mean? I think it, it helps us different dynamic, for sure, from the previous years. And I know Kayla could continue to keep it up. So on with our other our other bigs as well, such as Kai, JG, all those guys, Kamani, and those guys. Yeah, you, you you and Makai have said your your 23rd birthday. Happy birthday! I think I think I got this right. I think you guys combined for 15 points, 10 block shots, and 18 rebounds. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty good. What what you think y'all doing that together on your birthday? Um, no, it's amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's good to always like play with my brother and stuff. So. Um, you know, we get out there together and share the court together. You know, we just do our job and then uh, go by the game plan and, you know, execute. Did you guys get a cake after the game or <laughs> a birthday or did anything? Celebration. I'm sorry, what? I said it was a good celebration. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, and then, you know, A&M just uh, – you guys, I think, led for 37 minutes, but A&M, they just wouldn't go away. They, 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 you know, it looks like you guys have put it away with up 13. They cut it to, to four, I guess oh, it was. Just what did you think about the way – they kept coming at you, but you guys kept answering whatever they threw at you. Um, A and M is a good team, you know what I mean. Um, coming in, in conference, coming into here, seven and one, you know what I mean. Um, only losing to Kentucky away by a few points, so we know that um, we will see them again at their home. It's going to be a good fight, and I know that we will go in prepared. But um, hopefully, everyone has their mind ready for the um, the next game. Um, I think we're going away, and so. Um, we're going game by game and let everything else that's in our game speak for itself. What was the, can you repeat the question? Yeah, sorry. Um, you guys led for 37 minutes, but A&M just kept fighting back. You guys, you know, couldn't let up at all, really. Just what do you think about the way they hung in there and the way you guys ultimately were able to, to hang on and win? Oh, um, you know, they were fighting. Um, you know, that's what they're supposed to do. Um, but, you know, we uh, hung on and stayed together. That last three minute stretch, um, it could have went other ways, but you know we we were locked in um, and stayed together and um, trusted each other and you know got stops that we needed and you know that's that's how the game went. Mikel, what have the last I guess seven to ten days been like for you since you I guess hurt that foot against what was it Ole Miss? I mean Eric said that you came back a little early, maybe you should have missed some time, but you came back and gave good minutes Saturday and then flirted with a triple double tonight. Um, it was it was tough the first two days. Um, you know, it was hurting really bad. You know, bad sprain. Uh, I set out, and then you know, but I was still doing stuff on the side. You know, just in case I did come back anytime soon, um, so I can stay in shape and stuff like that. But uh, I just been working, getting up, treatment uh, early with the trainer and stuff. Um, you know, trying to get back on the court, and then most of the time, you know, I was just pushing through it because um, I know I'm tough and. Um, and, and I can fight through things like that. So, and that's what I did tonight. Is it a foot or an ankle that was giving you an uh, issue? Foot, foot, okay. and foot sprain. But I'm, I'm fine now. I got you, Devo. I think you matched a career high with four made threes tonight. I guess, like for 
I guess up until like two weeks ago, I don't think a lot of people would have said that the three-point shot was your strength, but you're, I think, maybe nine of your last 15 at home from three. What's changed, man? Is it just the work, or, and, and why are you so confident in your three now? Yeah, it's just me putting in the work. Um, I put it in every single day. Wake up, go to the gym. Before I go to sleep, go to the gym. So I'm just going to continue to put, the, put in the work in. Hopefully it continues to show, like I've been saying. You guys held A&M uh, to under 35% shooting after you held Baylor to like under 34. Just what 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 you think was the key of the defense tonight? Hold them besides a lot of block shots. Obviously, what what you think was was so good about your defense? Mm -hmm. Just a lot of um, a lot of the emphasis that we um, go into when it's time to scout these teams. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on the defense, and I think, um, like you said, um, win or lose, we put our pride on defense. And I think um, the last few weeks we've been playing pretty hard on defense. And I hopefully continue, hopefully I and the rest of the guys continue to just play hard, you know what I mean, on defensive end. And the offensive, the offensive end is just flow and just come with, with whatever comes on defense for us, you know what I mean? But um, we want to continue to try to turn, turn teams over. Um, we want to limit ours and continue to just play hard, you know. And that comes with pride and things such as, um, getting loose balls and things like that that happens in practice, you know what I mean? I think we are doing a really pretty good job on it. Mikel, do you have a thought on the defense? And also, how, how much fun is it to be – you guys are playing better. And, and you you know, earlier Mikel was playing quite a bit. You were playing a little bit. Now you're both playing quite a bit. How, how fun is that? Um, you know, just um, – I just think I bring that, that defensive presence too. So, um, you know, when we go out there, we got different schemes and stuff. And um, – you know, I just try to, you know, do my job and protect the rim as, as much as I can and help my other guys out, um, you know, when they get, like, drawn by, I mean, uh, driven by and stuff like that. But overall, you know, collectively, I think we're doing solid, a solid job. And, you know, it, it goes back to practice again. So it starts in practice, um, you know, buying in, you know, doing everything Coach Musters want and stuff like that, and it translates to the game. And how, how much fun is it? You, you and both so well. Oh. I mean, it's fun, man. I know I enjoy it. Yeah, Mikel, I'm curious what you've thought of Devo's run the last seven games. I think he scored 16 plus in each of those games, and tonight I think was a season high with 19. One more time, I could. just thoughts on Devo's run the last seven games. Had 16 in each of those at least, and then tonight he had a season high of 19. Uh, um, you know, I've been telling him, um, you know, you could do it and stuff like that, motivating him and stuff. Uh, just getting him like the little things like. You know, just a uh, um, a hand tap. You know, motivating motivating them to keep going and stuff like that. Cause I know you can do it, and um, you know that's how you get the best out your teammates and stuff like that. So I try my best to push him, and, and he do the same for me. There's three straight SEC home wins now. I know you expect to win at home, but you're you're kind of getting fighting your way back in. Uh, to, to the season after a rough start. Just how do you feel about how you guys have played in, in you know, three straight SEC home wins? No, we expect to win home games, like you said, but um, we expect to win home road games as well. And have we executed? No, but we will continue to fight hard on the road, and we're not looking to shy back from any road games. And um, like I said, it's all, it all starts on the defensive end, and as the season continues, we're gonna have more and more road games, and we can't we can't hide like Coach Must always tell us. And so, um, we're gonna get ready for this road game coming up, and and, and we're gonna be prepared. You got a thought on that, Michael? Uh, we're gonna be prepared like that, and then again, piggyback on what he said. He starts in practice, um, you know, um, just just the defensive schemes, and you know, doing doing what Coach Must wants and stuff. Um, because it's hard to win on the road. He always tells us that. And um, and it showed. So, you know, and then the next one we're going to get. Yeah, David, that, that dunk at the end, obviously, you guys had won the game. But is that just kind of a fun exclamation point? Yeah, I told the ref I wanted a dunk at the end. And uh, I didn't even know I was going to get it. You know what I'm saying? But I tend to leak out sometimes when it's close to the end of the game. And so I got it. This time it counted, though. So so how how, how come you told the ref to make sure he counted? Or why would you tell him I'm going to dunk? No. Nah, uh, I was just talking to him. I'm oh, cool okay. with um, Dunn and all them guys. So. Did he say, like, okay, or what did he say? No, nah, he was like, he was like, get you one, get you one. I was like, okay, I got you. Man, <laughs> okay. yeah. But, no, nah, I, almost, I almost bust my head. <laughs> I'm that real, but, no, nah, nah, it was a little fun. But I'm glad we got the win. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, Dima, you know